Welcome to Concept Art class and today we are going to talk about gadgets. What are gadgets and uh, why do you need gadgets? Gadgets are helpful tools. For example, if there is a carpenter and uh, he has a lot of tools with him, he has got a screwdriver, he has got a hammer, he has got a, uh, a saw etc etc. But the one gadget that is so important for him uh, that helps him a lot is that little belt that goes around his waist and where he can put all of his tools. So those things help out in a lot of ways. One character that, has a, that is famous for his gadgets is uh, obviously Mr. Batman and he has tons and tons of gadgets. In, in fact, uh, they can keep on inventing gadgets for him. One of his most important gadgets is this utility belt which helps him in so many ways because it has a lot of tools in it and it has grenades and it has uh, you know many other smaller tools like torches etc etc so whatever he needs he can take it out of his belt and he's pretty prepared so that's one thing also around his belt uh, there is this uh, wire uh, with which he can climb on walls if he uses his grapple gun is another gadget that he uses a lot and uh, he even has uh, well uh, he has these famous arm armor he has a mask as this character has progressed the mask has a lot of things uh, the, the mask has a radar it can it can pick up signals, it can give him information. He can even have visors in front of his eyes which can give him information. Uh, these are, I don't know, bad bombs? <laughs> Whatever they are. So he has these, he has these uh, batarangs. So he has a lot of these different kinds of gadgets. And that's what makes him powerful. Uh, other than his physique, his his own strength, uh, his himself being a master martial artist and uh, also well versed with you know fighting skills and he exercises and he has got a good control over himself. Uh, other than these things, what really helps him are the gadgets. That's what makes him into a superhuman. So when he fights. Superman for example, it's again the gadgets that help him to beat Superman. Here I have picked up a few references which will, uh, that I will define uh, where I got my references from. So let's start. So first thing that this guy has, okay so introducing my own character, my character is called the Sharp Skater. That's a nice name. So he's a champion skater. He's a, he's a gold he's a gold medalist. He's a world champion in skating, and he is a very quick athlete. He's fast. He's nimble. That's why he's not a bodybuilder. He's got a body of an athlete. So he's he's quick, and he has to be very quick with his movements. Therefore his muscles are not too heavy and secondly he is agile but where his muscles help him to move quick to uh, when he's th thinking quick and he wants to do some actions so that's what his physique is for so i'm not really talking about the character right now i'm just going to i'm 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 giving you information about him so that you'd know why he has this physique and so, using this this as a base for our gadgets, we move forward. Now, the first thing, so he is a skater, so he is going to need skates. Uh, he is going to need a helmet. These are two basic things that all skaters have. So we have three bicycle helmets. Such a cool helmet, this. What I like about these helmets is, that uh, if you take this uh, this helmet for example this aerodynamic shape is perfect it's almost like an almond when you look at it from from the side so that's what i would like 
to give our hero as well right so that's the kind of design that i'm thinking all all these uh, bicycle helmets are the same but i really like this because it's also going to give also going to help him in his movement so the helmet will go around like this thing is that it should not look too odd also as well so i'm going to design it in a way that it doesn't look too odd all right i'll keep the cross section here so that it's easy for you to see how the head would rest so this portion here is actually a cushion where if he does bump into something he has ample space that his head does not get injured the second thing that i'd want to give is this visor here i love this not all bicycle helmets have visors uh, you don't usually need them because bicycles are not that fast and uh, visors are usually there to protect the eyes and this one is a bit dark also so it works like sunshades uh, sunglasses but here there's a purpose to his to the visor I'm, I'm putting this circle here to show that the the visor can go you know it can go up if needed and come down the visor will be something where he can get information kind of like iron man he has a helmet and uh, when his helmet gets locked so he can see everything in front of him so he has a screen so it's also a screen uh, not something that would distract him it can it can have tracking it it can have like a map in front of it and uh, he can track where he wants to go he can get the direction where he wants to go it can also select best routes using using the tracker and uh, another thing is it uh, these can work as a digital binocular because his skates are very fast and uh, if he wants he can just skate himself uh, and if he wants he can use uh, the jetpacks on his ska skates and uh, you know go very fast so his skates have jets in them and they're also mechanical so he has these things uh, advantages so therefore he needs something to protect his eyes so that's one thing and uh, also his helmet also works as a communication device the next gadget that I want to talk about is the arm thing <laughs> it's the arm guard an arm guard uh, goes from here to here also protects the wrist but it has to have a purpose of course so let me show you some inspirations so th this is a real life example somebody built this arm uh, gadget here uh, it's uh, you can shoot probably arrows or maybe a grappling hook with it and look at this guy he is an inventor and he builds some really dangerous stuff look at this this is an amazing grappling gun attached to his arm guard and uh, on this one he has a knife very cool so we will need a grappling gun definitely you will need a grappling gun because the grappling gun attached to the arm guard will help the guy uh, to make sudden turns uh, for example if you uh, well I got this idea from a Batman film uh, bat vehicle could shoot uh, this hook uh, which, which is attached to the wire and it could latch on to a pole and and the car could take a sudden turn very sharp turn so that's very cool i think we our hero also needs something like this to make sharp turns so it can anchor sort of like drop anchor somewhere and then latch on maybe a pole or something uh, and make a sudden turn that would be so cool so i'll design something like this so it has uh, probably Not something that would get in his way. 
something that would be uh, that would help him rather than and it, it has to be edgy it, it has to be something that's that's also modern not something that looks like it's from medieval times so we have to take care of that and I'm just roughly going through so this is the grappling hook again another thing very important is that we understand that uh, it's supposed to be a very fast character we shouldn't have anything that that is a, a hindrance nothing that would slow him down nothing that would be too heavy for him he is probably pretty rich because these gadgets will cost a fortune and somebody has to build them for him so I'm <laughs> not really thinking a lot about these things and yes he will require these elbow pads and knee pads one more thing the grappling gun can also be useful when he's trying to climb if he has You know, he can go up a building like this uh, if he has like a grappling gun and uh, he's used these uh, grappling these, these grappling hooks to connect to something on a building and he would just swoop up. That's also a brilliant idea. So I think we're, we're keeping these, we're keeping the helmet. So the next thing that this guy has a utility belt. So this utility belt is very important because he can get into all sorts of trouble. So he needs something to keep some sort of Medicare or first aid somewhere. So we have these small pouches. So Batman has these smoke bombs and uh, why not? Why not? Why can't our guy? If he can afford these things, he can afford smoke bombs. So what? That's a cool idea. <laughs> Take that, Batman. So he has a belt, a utility belt, and he can hold his uh, first aid. He can have... Uh, he can have smoke bombs. And uh, he can also have this uh, metallic wire, metal wire that would latch onto the grappling hook, and uh, he can then climb or anything using that. And he also has fuel reserves. Yes, we should have something that makes this character more believable. He cannot keep on running on uh, the jets without fuel no matter how little of the fuel he can use to operate his jetpacks he still needs fuel you know so there, there can be times when he's run out of fuel and he cannot use the jets last but not the least we are coming to the boots all right we have a few skating blade ideas now one thing that I suppose we have to be aware of is that having jets on your feet is not comfortable at all obviously because if you move too fast you it'll be like slipping if you if you're not careful enough it'll be you're slipping from and you're trying to gather yourself and that's not what we want. Yeah, that's cool. 
How about that? Not bad, not bad. <coughs> So these are some of the gadgets, right? So these are the skates, the jet skates. Uh, the jet part, probably you'll have to think about some technology that's latest. And uh, even if it does need fuel, it's still very efficient. And it doesn't necessarily have to be jets. It can be something else, right? But I would prefer whatever it has, it has some sort of weakness, right? Because there should be openings and the hero should be able to overcome those openings uh, when he's fighting the bad guys. So we have these few gadgets with us and so we can move and uh, forward and now we can start designing them. First we have thought about these. And now we can start to design the gadgets. Once your gadgets are all locked down and you know what you want, then you can start finalize the concepts. But it's very important that uh, the you have to make options. You have to make uh, many options as required by the client or required by your director or whoever is asking you to work for it or if even if you're working on your own character even then you need to have options and uh, these options will help you with choosing the best idea for your character and uh, again the silhouettes are so important you have to look at the silhouettes you have to look at what shapes are looking good uh, on your character and then you have to see uh, what makes your character stand out from other characters uh, and then you start working on those uh, shapes and everything so uh, i'm not going to do the final thing here what i wanted to tell you was the process the method of how you go about thinking about things like gadgets for a character and how you develop them how you take out references and uh, how you uh, then finalize them. If you're thinking about, for example, the helmet, uh, I'll just do one demonstration for the helmet and then we can move on. So there are plenty of designs for the helmet. What I would rather do is uh, I'd make a dummy head and then I'd try different kinds of uh, helmet designs on that head that would that would help me with the options that will help me in, in uh, thinking about the options for my characters gadgets even the costume everything everything you need options for to, to finalize your character so here's like a shape here and another interesting thing i found out in this concept was the concept of lights now we have helmets that have lights in them so if if we have sort of like light that would definitely uh, be helpful for the character as well as uh, if they're going if they're going on the road and uh, you know so, uh, for example these are these are the indicators and this is a bra brake light and you can have lights in front of the character that will help him steer in the dark. That would be a nice addition because roller blades are obviously pretty fast and uh, he would need protection if in case falls down. So this is like a sort of concept that I've come up with. And I can color it, I can, uh, and it's just one option right now. I can work on many options and uh, we keep on developing as many options as we can and then selecting the final ones, the ones that we think are the best. Uh, I'm going to end this here. Uh, the, uh, the important thing again is the methodology, is the practice uh, that you take up to develop something. 
and uh, what I shared with you is the process that I would go through to build my concepts and uh, when I'm thinking about gadgets I'm taking inspiration from different other characters different other things that have already been invented obviously you're not going to reinvent the wheel it's uh, already there so we can always think of uh, going for references looking for inspirations and getting better ideas and maybe getting even newer ideas because again as I was talking about the shoes about the roller blades it is probable that uh, there, there are some new sick designs coming out and you have even better technology uh, for, for the jets and uh, maybe even more fuel efficient uh, ways where we can incorporate stuff. So uh, these things uh, while you keep on searching and you keep on referencing you can keep developing and evolving your character into a better character. Right. So hopefully this was helpful for you. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.